chopstick help? Chopstick tools do everything. It doesn't actually. Yes, it does. It just swirls things around and then sticks to the chopstick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, it's fine if it's sushi, but if it's uh, honey, I don't think it works that well with the chopstick. So we're continuing with the salad series today. And uh, what we're going to do is make a variation of Lowry's spinning salad. Have you guys been to Lowry's? If you've been to Lowry's and you've had their spinning salad, it's really good. But it's only a starter salad. Well, we're adding some egg and cheese to put some protein in it, and we're turning it into a meal salad. Starts out, of course, with the dressing. And as I say on every video, do not use a bottle dressing. Make your own. It's easy. It's better. And I'm going to show you how to make the Lowry spinning salad dressing. Start out with apple cider vinegar. You can use the Bragg's, which has the mother in the bottom, and that's healthier. But this is what we've got in the house, so this is what we're using. It's just the standard apple cider vinegar. Three tablespoons of this. You want to add in a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I don't know why it's so hard to say. You say Worcestershire, not Worcestershire or whatever. If you've been to Leicester Square in London, you understand it's not that hard to say. You just say Leicester and say Worcester. Same thing. If you've been to Worcester, Massachusetts, same thing. Okay. Now, the original recipe called for a teaspoon of seasoned salt. I don't like things too salty, so I'm using a teaspoon of seasoned pepper. And I use Lowry seasoned pepper. I'm lucky I uh, belong to their club, and so they send me this once a year on my birthday. So we always have some seasoned pepper in the house. Okay, now here's something people will freak out about, about keto. A teaspoon of honey. Now we're putting a teaspoon in this entire dressing. The entire dressing will dress three or four salads, so you're having about a quarter teaspoon. That's only a few grams of carbohydrates. It will fit in with the keto diet just fine. Don't worry about the fact that you've got a teaspoon of honey in this whole thing. It's not going to be horrible. Throw in a clove of garlic. Half teaspoon of paprika. Now we actually, we love Spanish paprika and we get it and then we put it in whatever bottle we've got for it. So that's what we're doing here. The Spanish paprika or Hungarian paprika tends to have a lot more flavor. That's what we're putting in there. And now you want about a half cup of olive oil. Put in a half cup of olive oil. And that's your dressing. Stick it up in the blender, blend it until it's emulsified, and you get a very, oh, you know what, I forgot about something. You want a tablespoon of dry sherry. This gives it a very interesting flavor, and I like the taste of sherry. Okay. Now you've got your dressing. And you can pour it right out of here onto your salad when you're ready. Okay, now for the salad, make it however you like. I'll tell you what I like to do in this salad. We've got a head of lettuce that we cut up here. This is romaine lettuce. You can use iceberg lettuce. You can use butter lettuce. You can use whatever lettuce you like. We like romaine. We're throwing in an egg. Taking it, cut it up, throw it in. Throwing in a bunch of grape tomatoes. I like them, and so I'm throwing a lot of them in. There's nothing specific about the amount. We're throwing in carrots. If we had cucumbers, we'd throw that in, but we just use those up, so we're not going to throw in any cucumbers. Just a few finely sliced onions. That's good in there. Going to throw in probably about two to three ounces of shredded cheddar cheese because that adds a good part of the protein. And then here is something I put in this salad that I think makes it really good. 
these are the same as those French, French's fried onion rings, but these aren't coated with flour, which makes them more keto. The interesting thing is I've taken a look at the labels and the carbohydrate level on this seems to be higher than the carbohydrate level on French's. It probably has some quirk to do with the way that they count the carbs. If you want to use the French's, they've got about three carbohydrates per two tablespoons. I, I would use those, but if you really are worried about the flour coating, just use these. These are available on Amazon. And throw in as many of these as you want. I'm going to put in about two to three tablespoons worth. Now we can toss this all up. And then we can add the dressing and you've got your salad. Now, if you really want to get fancy and you want to present it in a fancy way, you can put this bowl inside another bowl filled with ice and you can spin it around like they do in Lowry's and pour the dressing on while you're spinning it. I'm not going to bother. Just pour some dressing on this. Toss it up. You can put some pepper on it if you like. And you got yourself a very nice salad for you. So of all the salads I've shown you over the past month, this is probably the healthiest tasting out of all of them. I tend to have this about once a week. I really like it and it's great. The egg and the cheese give you enough protein to make it into a meal. The dressing itself, it gives it a nice tanginess and a little bit of a sweetness, which is really good. That's good, all the fresh veggies in there make it taste really good. I love the sweetness of the tomato and the dressing. You can taste the sherry in it. You can taste the seasoned pepper as well as the slight sweetness that the honey gives it. It's really a nice little dressing and it's a nice salad to have. You can do it without the egg and cheese and just serve it as a starter salad for any meal or add the egg and cheese into it and make it.